Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Once again, I'm your boy Nev from Nev's Tech, but today we're checking out a Lenovo T14 ThinkPad. Very nice. I really like the Lenovo's. I really like the T-Series. The T-Series is all about being rugged. Uh, it's not always about being the fastest, but it's all about being rugged. And I have a lot of users that need rugged stuff or uh, it's just not going to work. We have an Intel Core i7 Pro 10th generation chip in here, which shouldn't be a problem at all. The thing is pretty light. I'm going to say three pounds maximum. But I remember I used to walk around with a five pound laptop and this is just night and day different. We got a little slide screen on there for the uh, camera. Remember back in the day when we didn't have to worry that the government or, or you know whoever was looking at us, looking out for us, watching us, etc. I keep telling everybody about the uh, the story where a school was watching the students with the camera. They brought us, they, they hauled a student in because they thought he was doing pills and it wasn't really pills, he was just eating Mike's, Mike and Ike's. Anyways, what do we got here? We got the lock area. We have a uh, Cat5 or, uh, sorry, Ethernet hookup. USB 1, USB 2, and special hookup area, USB-C, HDMI, micro SD, one headset. Once again, very nice. You unscrew to get in there. Very nice. Very happy with this unit. So, one thing that this unit has is a, a privacy screen. Function D will give you a privacy screen. So here's the thing about the privacy screen. Right on, you see it great. You turn it over to the side, you can hardly see anything. It used to be if you wanted this kind of technology, you had to get a screen you put right over your unit. It makes the screen mm, harder to see directly on, but honestly, not harder to see than the privacy screens that I've had to put on uh, secondarily. And it's nice, you can toggle. Next up, let's talk about the Flex. So, of course, since this is a T-Series, it's made to be rugged. It doesn't feel as rugged as previous T-Series. Everything feels really plasticky. But that could mean that it'll bend and not break. We definitely have a lot of flex within the key, within the whole unit actually, we got a lot of flex, but it doesn't feel like the kind of flex where uh, it might be, if I press it a little bit too hard, I'm gonna break everything. It doesn't feel like that at all. Next up, let's try out the glare. Okay, so it definitely picks up the sun pretty ably. I don't think this is the kind of thing you'll be wanting to use outside, but no laptops really particularly good outside. We got a thin battery. We're going to have a, have a look on the inside to see exactly what the battery is like, but let's take a look at the power. The power is, it puts an output of 20 volts and 3.25 amps. Okay, so the next thing we're going to want to do is let's run a benchmark on this sucker. Let's see what we can get away with on it. As per the norm, the benchmark we're going to be using is Performance Test 10 uh, Passmark. Let's turn on the juice and see what shakes loose. Alright, the first graphical test. We're getting about 20 frames per second. Not bad. Not bad. Not even getting penalized for everything. In the DirectX 10, I'm getting 5.9 frames per second. I just realized I just dove right into the benchmarks and didn't even talk about the specs. This is an Intel uh, UHD. I'll have to check it out when it's done. Go, Space Rock, go! Imagine living there. That'd be pretty cool. All right, I'm getting about 25 frames per second in the jellyfish universe. That's pretty good. That's some pretty good stuff. And there's the big one, the giant jellyfish, him or herself, however they want to identify. Do jellyfish have sexes? They must have sexes. Oh yeah, blasting off into orbit here. We got 10 frames per second, unable to run at the desired scope, penalized by 60%. Well, that blows. No, look more closely. Not too bad, not too bad. All right. Okay, so that's a score of 2,168. That puts it around, uh, geez, an older Surface Pro, a Lenovo i7 X230 with eight gigabytes uh, RAM, 
and an SSD. Man, this thing definitely mustn't have a very good video card. Let's check it out. So once again, it looks like this is very made to be rugged, not made to be fast at all. 16 gigs of RAM. Good. Oh, it is an i7. Geez, that's not a bad i7 at all. Um, except it's 1.8 gigahertz. Take a look in the device manager and we will see. Okay. About eight cores, not bad, and the display is Intel. There's the, there's what's going to be screwing us up, ladies and gentlemen. The Intel UHD graphics. All right, now, now that we know what's inside, let's take a look and see what's inside. All right, so in order to get that off, I had to undo all the screws and use a guitar pick to pop all the clips off. Everything has clips these days, right? Okay, so the power to this is eleven. 0.52 volts, 4,345 mAh. All right, we got the RAM. Ooh, there's no RAM there. Okay, so it's expandable, and the RAM must be fused. One, okay, here's the. That's the memory. Man, that is thin for an M2. I wonder if it's an, if it's an MVME. Um. I am not seeing just as PCI Express. I'm not seeing if it's an NVMe. Oh, what time? What do we got under here? Okay, nothing expandable. I guess that's for secondary Wi-Fi, perhaps. We have this plastic piece here that almost looks like it's supposed to hold wires or flex or something. But um, yeah, like it's supposed to hold wires like here, but it doesn't. That's strange. What else we got here? Of course, we got uh, the fan. So get this: the CPU is actually going to be right here, and the CPU pipes the the heat out here. And here, two pipes are best, and that seems like a really flimsy unit. Not too much gap between each blade, so I think this thing is going to suck up and get stuck a lot of dust. So many terminations. Interesting uh, bias battery i guess it's for laptops so they can use whatever they want or i guess you could say it's a uefi battery these days where are the speakers where's the termination for the speakers perhaps this is them anyways next up let's do a grand theft auto test shall we because everybody always asks for one of those and the back plate looks pretty standard i think they call this spun metal I guarantee it's actually plastic, but it's got a bit of a metallic feel, a metallic slickness to it. Alright, so the speed on Grand Theft Auto is not bad. Relatively responsible. Responsible. Res relatively responsive. No problems, no complaints. The, uh, the screen is definitely very small, but for the very small size, it's running it very nicely. That's what she said. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for me, I think. Nev from Nev's Tech Bits, not a bad laptop, not a bad laptop. It's, uh, I really like the privacy guard feature. Anyways, like and subscribe, leave a comment if uh, you think I missed something, and make sure that you give me that thumbs up, and you will be rewarded with awesome chicken. Have a good one, folks. Take care of each other, too.